with regard to this, this anger discussion, it is, it is a difficult thing and it's a, it's a bit scary thing that most people find because, you know, we're, we're so focused on trying to keep everything at an equilibrium, you know, everything nice and safe and secure and when we start talking about anger, there's so many competing emotions in uh, the, even the discussion. One of the competing emotions is, well, what if I get into anger and I kill somebody? You know, that a lot of people feel that there's that much rage inside of themselves that if they let themselves start experiencing it, they're going to do some major damage to people. Others feel like, well, no, I don't want to be perceived as being angry. You know, what? I, me angry? No, oh, no, I'm this loving, nice, calm, you know, spiritual person that I've been all my life sort of thing. And they don't want to conceive that perhaps there's some anger inside of themselves that's really affecting their life. And, and then others uh, understand that yes, the anger is a gateway into what's underneath and they do not want to go underneath. Like, and so many of us have this feeling, I do not want to go underneath. What, what's AJ doing to me? He's trying to get me underneath and I don't want to go underneath. And this is why a lot of the times, many of us feel really buoyant after I have a discussion about love or natural love or something that's a little more external to myself, right? So a lot of us come away from that kind of discussion feeling really enthused and buoyant and you know, quite encouraged and so forth and walk away sort of on cloud nine type of feeling. And some of you have felt that after a group, right, for different groups. And then when we have a discussion about fear or we have a discussion about anger, Everybody goes into this <laughs> closed down, <laughs> shut down state. And when we walk away at night, we go away with a headache instead of feeling good, you know. And the reason why is because we're wanting to keep down the truth about it inside of ourselves. So my suggestion is allow yourself even a bit further just to open up and open up and allow the fact that there is some anger in there and allow the fact of what that's about to start coming into your consciousness because it's that work that's going to bring you closer to God and also closer to other people in your life. So, for example, if you have anger specifically directed towards the opposite sex, then obviously that's going to keep you at a distance between yourself and the opposite sex. Now, if you have a heterosexual type of relationship, then obviously it's keeping distance between you and your partner if you have injuries towards the opposite sex. So, you know, allow yourself to work through those injuries and allow yourself to get closer. Because if we don't face these things, we'll never experience the bliss that's possible to experience. So allow yourself to dig deep into those emotions. <laughs>